In this video, we're going to talk about soft modeling and uh, sculpting tools in Unreal Engine 5. Now, right here, I've created some really simple objects and we're going to create them also together. We're going to explain what are the basic and most important things to know when you want to do soft body modeling in Unreal Engine, but also in other software. And right now, I'm just looking for a nice surface from Quixel Bridge to apply to this wall, which is made with the displacement tool that we also find in the modeling tool set. So right now, I'm just going to search for a nice surface to apply to that wall. So the three things you need to consider are the subdivisions that we're going to use in that mesh, the material that you're going to apply, because also the material is going to help to create some uh, relief or sculpting or detailed effects and the third thing is of course to use uh, sculpting tools and soft modeling tools so I'm just gonna apply here some material let's say plaster material there you go so just gonna download this asset here and again when you you're ready when you download the asset you can apply it directly using the content browser. So you can see here when it's ready, there it's almost there. So when it's ready, I'm going to click on this little door here with the arrow and I'm going to find it in the content drawer. So in this case, it's going to be this uh, um, wall paint. No, this is, this is the other material, by the way, that I have applied in the other texture. And this is the uh, scratched metal for this kind of figure that I have sculpted. And I think this is the one that I've just downloaded. So I'm going to click and drag there. You can see it's going to add some more details and effects. They're going to create a more realistic look. So let's get started. The first thing we can do is to start with a simple cube or a simple object. So if I just go here in the modeling tools, and create a box. Now, the first thing you probably want to do is to create some uh, precise measures. So I'm going to type here, let's say uh, for a chair or an armchair, I can type like 50 times 50 times 50 for a small chair. Or if I want something bigger, I can go like 80 times 80 times 80 centimeters. And this is going to be the base that we're going to use to move on. So right now I'm just going to say complete. And before we actually start, you can see that right here I've created some options starting always from a simple cube. Now this is the way it's going to work. Just like we, we said before in the other videos, so you have the possibility to start with a rough model, a rough prototype like this, using the cube grid as we saw in the previous video, or you can use the standard polygonal editing and polygonal modeling tools. So we created the walls, we created the openings in the previous video, and also this bookshelf. So this is all, we can consider all of these to be hard poly modeling. So when you have like simple objects with straight corners, straight lines, you can use this. But actually what I do usually in, in, in other software, but I can do it also in Unreal Engine, of course, is to add a little bevel a little chamfer on the corners because corners shouldn't be this precise. They always have like a little line, a little chamfer. So to do that, I need to access this model. So I need to select it and go to the poly editing tools. And to add this detail, I'm just going to go and select just the edges and select that, for example. And you can help yourself with the edge loops and edge ring. So let's go one by one. So this one here will be the edge ring. So it's selecting a ring of edges or edge loop. This is good when you have like this situation here where you have these openings. So I just need to select all the openings that I want to fix. And then I can apply the bevel. And this is going to be a really small bevel. You need to know that you cannot go too high with the, with the bevel if you don't have enough space. So in this case, it's going to be a really small bevel. Let's say it could be like one, but you can see it's still too big. So perhaps it's like 0.6 or 0.5, just a, 
a tiny chamfer will do the trick. So don't exaggerate, but this is gonna make things a little bit more realistic in the end, especially again, if you're doing hard polymodeling. So in this video, we're going to um, go specifically into the soft modeling tools. So to create more organic shapes, with the sculpting or like soft and curvy surfaces for furniture, furnishing, um, piece of furniture and so on. So I'm gonna start again with a simple cube because we always start simple and then we, we increase the number of details. And by increasing the number of details, we are actually increasing the number of subdivisions or number of polygons that are inside that mesh. So right now, this is a simple and draft mesh that we can use at the beginning just to say, okay, I will place something in here, but then I will need to go uh, into details more and more to specify what this will be. It will be an armchair, yes, and how it will be, how it will be, um, how it, the, its geometry will be. You can see here, I've made a, a couple of example. You can see how I, I have customized a little bit the curves and so on. So you always start simple and then go to complex, more complex things later, just as we did so far in the previous videos. Now, the more you go into detail, the more you will spend time. So I'm just gonna make some examples, some really simple examples. But if you want to go to the next level, I believe that right now, in this moment, Unreal Engine doesn't have all the tools to get to reach certain levels of quality or complexity like in other software. And as an example, you can use Blender, you can use 3ds Max, you can use Cinema 4D to create more soft moly modeling. And also you can use for the sculpting and modeling, you can use tools like ZBrush or you can use Madbox. And you can see in many examples that they always go from really low detail meshes and then they increase the, the details and in many cases, you will start from a simple box or a simple sphere and then uh, gradually increase the, the details until you get a face or an organic shape or an animal, a rock or whatever. You can see how many things you can do with this software. Now, if you're interested, you can write your comments, questions, suggestions, ask for assistance. And we're gonna produce videos about Madbox and ZBrush. So stay subscribed and join the channel if you want to support us. Now you can also create some 3D effects or let's say some sculpting effects using simple textures like you do usually with displacement effect. Now in this case, displacement, it's actually 3D modeling. So it's an effect, but it's 3D. But sometimes you can use normal maps and bump maps on the material to create that 3D effects. We're gonna talk about this later as well, but if you want to see some tools to create that effects, you can use Armor Paint, which is open source, or Substance Painter, Marmoset, or you, you can create displacement maps with other tools. But uh, again, you, you can find video courses in the channel about those software. We're gonna concentrate on what we can do here in Unreal Engine. So you can see this is a mixture of modeling, sculpting, and applying a texture with some reliefs and uh, 3D effects, like worn out effects and uh, for the metal there and similar. Okay, so it all starts with a simple cube. And the first thing to do is to add more subdivisions, more polygons, more faces. Right now we only have six. So I can do that using the subdiv tool. So to subdivide, and you can see we already have three levels of subdivision. So if I start with the first, it's gonna be really edgy. Then I go with the uh, the second and the third is going to be smoother and four is going to be sm even smoother and so on. So right now I cannot even see the the faces. I need to go real close to see them. But right now this is a good starting point if you want to sculpt. Now before we get into sculpting, I want to show you more tricks. But you can see what happened here. So the, the object that was a, a box it became a sphere. So this is too much smoothing. What if I only wanted to do like a softer box or just chamfer box? Well, in that case, we need to do some other fixing. 